Hi guys, Scatlink here. Welcome to my modding showcasing sub-series, Hats Off To You, a series of which we try out community created hats, costumes, functions, singular levels, full chapters, or time rifts created by the Hat in Time fan community via the Steam Workshop. This will also include any challenge roads of which will have their own video dedicated to earning ourselves a trophy, of which would otherwise be permanently missed. Hi guys, welcome back. Scanlink here. We're off for more of a Hat in Time Summer 2024 live event. This is part 6 overall, covering the whole of level 4. Please check the previous episode so you're not totally lost. At the start of last episode, I mentioned the most event death wishes are generated differently for most players, so what I've been covering in accordance with my game may not match with your own. I just wanted to reiterate that as there is no confusion. And to start off this map, we have Starline Stroll. And Spooky Tower Hero. We're going to leave that for a little bit because that's quite a long one. Starline Stroll is a parkour level. And all we got to do is grab 50 ponds and grab the timepiece in order to finish off the level. This is brand new. We've I've never played this before either. But we got a modifier roulette that we need to give it a spin for. So what's the stipulation today? Don't really want something that will mess with time. Oh, you know what? That's a freebie. That's not going to be an impact at all. And I always have a bad habit on just hopping straight into the dev wish without actually mentioning what the mod is because it's our first time through it. Starline's trolled by LCLCL. Required hookshot, part time 2 minutes 20, world record 2 minutes 12 by Hoot Owl. A blue rift based on Starline's stroll, the song by Gooseworks. DJ Grooves held a space-themed party for the anniversary of the annual Bird Awards and played some real funky music. The music was so funky that the disco, the disco ball itself dropped and then broke into a time rift. Inside, Hat Kid found the grooviest rift in time she had ever seen, but she couldn't help have a bit of a bounce in her step, but too much grooving and she'll get sick. So Hat Kid has to put a stop to the non-stop dance party of Starlane Stroll by collecting the timepiece. Oh, this is trippy looking. Everything's got a starry background to it. There's a whale. It's just swimming through the level. So we have actually played a level similar to this uh, in a challenge road, which I believe actually does feature later on. Hi there, welcome to Starline Stroll. My boss here tells me to tell you the Blue Tree message. You're probably sick of hearing this, but just in case you haven't, double jumping conserves momentum, but diving cancels it. Lastly, part time is 2 minutes 20. So, yeah, we've done something like this before, but these rings basically launch us. So, we want to use that momentum in order to make it the jumps. Welcome, welcome to Starling Stroll, the snazziest rift of time you've ever seen. Take a stroll on the stars, get a bounce to your step. Getting to the top of the stroll will award you with a timepiece. Hear that snazzy tune? It's made by a cool gal named Gooseworks. So the music is actually from them. Now, I don't know what's up with this particular part of the level. This is the only part of the level that's very precarious. But the rest of it is quite, as I said, parkourish. Oh, we've got enough for the first stamp already. we just got to keep on grabbing that money. Like I ever really need it. Just tests your collectathon skill. Whee! Boing. Whee! Boing. There we are. Making a way up. Wait, was that the was, was that an urchin badge? Oh, whoopsie doodle, I overshot it. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Probably should have turned the camera. Oh wow, we're at the back of the beginning of the level. And you do take damage. So that was just unfortunate. I saw someone post with a sticker, and I was wondering, is that the urchin sticker that I couldn't get to the second death wish for? On that one? Because the badge was a bit bugged, like it said default 25, and yet it kept acting like it was infinite. Alright, let's do this jump again, and let me have a look at that. Yeah! That must be the uh, the sticker for that. Th there you go, then. We've covered that. That was unintentional, but I'm kind of glad that I went back for that. Don't burn me! Thank you. Like, kind of timed that wrong. Launch me into the balloons. Let's just pong forward. There we go. I need only five more ponds. And... That ought to do it. 
Oh, I missed one. Well, that'll do. Just run along here. Thankfully, not too bothered about the time. But at least it gives us a bit of a rough estimate of how long this level's going to be. And it's a good thing it's a short level, because if it wasn't, we would have problems. And I got stopped, so I totally didn't time that right. Let's grab that. Cross. And try again. It's not this one, it's the next one. Here we are. Right, now. That'll do it. Well, that wasn't ideal, but can I land on it? I almost did, and I didn't salvage it. That's a problem. Right, well that was a bit unfortunate that I couldn't actually get past it twice. So... Too sure what to do there. Maybe I've got to go as soon as it goes, like that. Yeah, so then I have more time like that. And then I can grab this. Camera went all over the place for a second there. Got swung around. Well, we've got enough ponds. we just got to beat the level now. And we're getting there. I'm just not the best of platforming. I love collect ponds, but I'm not good at platforming. It's a problem that they go hand in hand. I mean, I'm not terrible. Let's bounce a bit. Get over that one, because that's a cheeky one. You think you're supposed to land on that or something, but no, it's actually got the spring we need to bounce off after we pass it. Jump over here. There goes the whale. Big spring. Another ring. We're getting there. I'm pretty sure we're almost at the end. Oh, what have you got to say? Hee <laughs> hee. Some seems ponds are missing here. I took them all. I'm rich. What? You think the dev of this rift just didn't want to place ponds on these rings? Shh. Cease your accusations. Bro, do you know how hard it is to place these ponds in these inconsistent ring launches? It's a nightmare. I mean, must have been a bit of a pain to program this then. But they haven't really been inconsistent for me. But I guess for the final stretch of this level, with all these rings, obviously he just didn't really want to bother putting more ponds in. Which I guess would be a detriment considering that we need 50, but at the same time, there's still more here. So, who knows. Let's just do our final run through. And there we go. We made it to the... No way! Hang on a minute. We made it to the yellow planet. How do I jump over the timepiece? That would have been interesting. Oh, and for some reason, and I've noticed this... Going forward, anything that registers as a purple or blue time rift will actually give us a rift roulette spin without using tokens. In a death wish, which doesn't happen normally. So, I'm not entirely too sure what causes that. But yeah, we're going to get new rift roulette spins. So, I've still got stuff to grab. Mafia Town Electronic Remix. Did I not have that before? Oh shit! I got pizza time! Yeah, so for whatever reason the name of the remix hasn't actually been changed. But that is pizza time from Pizza Tower, the lap one escape for him. That's interesting. Why has that not changed the name? Also, why has it we got a Mafia Town image and not the rift because it would make more sense for the oh, oh no i guess because it replaces the electronic remix so no no because it says collapsing rift combined and timeout ending i don't know that's a bit weird so yeah i played the level again in the mod menu in order to get the rift token yep there was another spin so it is most definitely supposed to give you a spin just not in the death wishes which is interesting i mean to be fair throughout this event it's been giving me the rating for every mod, which also shouldn't normally happen, so I don't know if that's an actual change, so you can rate the mod when you're done, but yeah, I've got an additional spin here by just going for the mod timepiece slash mod rift token in the mod menu outside of the death wishes. So I've got another spin, and we're back to the paydays! Joke's on you. It's payday, fellas! Is 
Is there any music here? I don't know how high I'm going to have to turn this up because this is very quiet. I can't hear a thing. I don't hear anything. I don't know what to say about that. Oh, I forgot that LC is actually chilling here. <laughs> Alright, enough of that. Well, that didn't really do anything. And the only other level that we can actually do is this one down here. Which is also brand new, and I've never played before, and it's also brand new for this event. Spooky Tower Hero. We just gotta reach the fourth checkpoint and then collect the timepiece. There are way more than four checkpoints. This is a long level. Let's check the description. Spooky Tower Hero by Haboy. That sounds familiar. Happy Halloween for 2019. It's another Halloween themed level, of course. Maybe it's because it's just because it's Death Wish. Maybe that's why we get Halloween stuff, because it just makes sense, because it's Death Wish. Eh, I don't know. To celebrate another year of hat modding, I have made yet another spooky addition to one of my older mod levels. This time it's based on the very popular White Tower Forest, though it has been remixed to meet the standards of a hero tier level. In other words, it's a simple level with basic challenges. Collect 88 candy collectibles and unlock a new skin when you answer the snatcher correctly. Think hard about this, perhaps play the original spooky beta hero to get an idea of what you should choose. We might do that at some point as a separate uh, modding showcasing video in my series hats off to you You could and you can download it right there So it's already available for you if you really want it have fun. and I'll see you next year fellow ghouls And in my notes this apparently also gives us an erroneous riff roulette upon finishing it So I'm gonna have to do it again immediately afterwards to get another spin plus the mod riff token After I finish it and as I said, this is a very long level. So yay me but at least when I go through it again, I don't have to show it to get the mod timepiece slash mod rift token. But we do have to go through with a modifier. So that's kind of a problem. So let's give this a roll. And obviously I don't want anything that's going to be too painful. That would be painful. Well, not really painful. I have done it with the warped clock badge before, but I'll get into that later. Oh! I mean, why not? So, I'll take that, because that gives us an extra long jump, which would be very helpful. But I do want to put on the Magnet Badge. Look at all that platforming we're going to have to do. And I'm going to have to do it twice, outside of the Death Wishes, to get a token. So, as I said, whether you roll in the Mithrid in the Modifier Roulette, always takes your second slot and you cannot change it. I do like my no bonk, and I need the hook shot, but unfortunately I pro I do want this because some of the candies that we need to collect, which there are 88 of, if you remember, it's kind of a pain. Also, I don't think our, um, you know, I'm going to be butterfly guy for this because it kind of fits the aesthetic. Well, in terms of being summer, but not Halloween, if that makes sense. Ah, Mafia heard is an evil egg refuses to climb this tower. I feel scared, but also feel bad for Little Egg. Ah, I'm sorry, this place scared Mafia. Did you know if you collect all 88 candies lying about, you can earn a prize on this spooky day? You didn't know? Well, now you do. I feel happy he did something nice on this horrible day. Okay. So, yeah, as I said, this is going to be a long one. So, this video may go a little bit longer, but... I will say right now, even though there are still um, newer mods featured in this, I've played them before in previous challenge roads, so they'll be as recaps. So the video won't be too long, as you can check out the original videos if and when they apply, as well I've already been saying in my scripted moments for those very reasons. And once again, Haboy loves his mushroom jumping. Which is something that I've basically got PTSD with, with that one uh, compilation that we went through before. Now we don't want to miss a single one of these um, candies. We want to make sure we grab all of them. Obviously they're being treated as Rift Ponds, but 
We need all 88 in order to get a prize at the top before we get the timepiece. But that's not the only thing that's at the top. Because this mod adds stuff, and I don't know how I got myself turned around 180 there. But if you notice, I voided out and didn't take any damage. So if I void out, I'm just going to walk back to where I was. I'll cut back at the very least, because you can't take damage in this level. You are invincible. So, don't worry about that. I mean, for whatever reason, it says I've had one death already in this level. Not too sure why that's there. Again, there's some weird erroneous problem with the uh, death count. As well as the big death, the big death wish map mod, they for some reason give erroneous uh, messages. Because, I mean, you've just seen me load into this, and um, I haven't died. I can't die, so I don't know how I've got one death on this file at the very least. But yeah, I'm gonna stop uh, talking now on these repeats because it is messing us up. Oh my god! Seriously, can I just get over here? Like, why is this one particular mushroom being a pain? There we go. Bloody hell. It even made the game lag. Can't talk to any of these mafias, so we will just run on by. Grab our candy. Got more mushrooms to bounce on. Happy days. Swing. And we start our climb. Up this massive tower. It looks like both... Like caramel, both liquid and solid. That's how I like to describe it as. Right, 10. 11, excuse me. I'm pretty sure that's what I need at this stage. The annoying thing is, the higher you go up, the more the um, respawn plane kind of follows you. And you will be able to spot these green candies quite far below. And I'm just looking right there. I don't think that's a candy. That's a candle. So we were just down there. But I'm not going to be able to go back down there anymore. Which, ironically enough, if I did roll the vent badge, or if I equip it right now, I could make myself some checkpoints to go backwards on myself. But, obviously, I don't really want to do that. And if I miss the die this time, I'll show it off next time. But I'm pretty sure I know the locations of every single one of these candies. Because they're all on the route. There's... Only like a couple of times where you have to go slightly off route. But even then, it's not too bad. It's a candle. Like, they're big, green, glowy objects. Like, it's quite hard to miss. And that's the reason why I want the magnet badge, because some of them are in awkward positions. And you'd probably fall in order to try and grab them. Oh! Well, I salvaged that somehow, and I forgot that I had Lilac's headpiece equipped. Which again was not a choice, I rolled that. So, I mean, it makes some jumps easier. Yeah, I'll do that for damage. Because I don't have a homing attack anymore. This is my homing attack. It replaces it, if you remember. So, taking out the spiders with the cyclone is actually a good idea. I guess if I want to skip some mushrooms, I guess I could use Lilac's headpiece. It's weird, because, like, I know that these are... It's an official mod, and I've had it since the start of the game, and I've only used it, like, what? Properly in, like, what, episode 7 or something? During Subcon Forest, to help with a couple of collectibles, but mostly when it comes to using mods, I don't actually use them, because it's like... If you're playing with a base game and you just downloaded this mod only... That, how would you do it with the basic moveset? That's kind of like how I cover a lot of the challenge rooms. But not only is Lilix Headpiece an official mod, but this time it's been forced upon me during a live event. Like, I have to, I don't have to use it, but it is permanently equipped. I can't do anything about it. So, just not using it is like nerfing myself. If you get what I mean. So... Why would I not? Uh, yeah, I'm going to use it there, just because I kind of cocked that jump up a little bit. Again, that basically just saved me some time. Why would I not do that? Now it's up here. I didn't do that right. I don't think I can... 
No, uh, the cyclone helped me salvage that, but I need to, I need to lunge into that wall to get enough height. Or do I need the double jump? Oh, I need the double jump. Okay. Before I touch the wall. Well, we're at the 30 now. I lunged. I shouldn't have done that. Ah. We try it again. The checkpoints are very well spaced out. I will say that. God damn it. There we are. I got a quick jump cancel off there so I didn't bonk. So I didn't need the no bonk badges approach. Right, get on the platform first with the checkpoint, and then we'll grab that. There we go. Can't say anything to this mafia here. So we'll just go bouncing again. Oh, hey, I missed it. Didn't bounce high enough. Need the double jump. There we go. Oi! Damn it. Or could salvage it with Lilac's headpiece there, but no dice, I'm afraid. Yeah, that can that one piece of candy was a little bit of a tricky one. Oh yeah, I didn't just bypass one, did I? Nah, I did. Okay, cool. Just making sure. I mean, it's not to, it's not like it's off the level of where my next checkpoint was. It's below. That's a problem. I haven't missed anything, have I? I have. That's gonna really hate. To be fair, there's no point in me checking because I can't go back down. Unless I, like I said, used the vent badge and placed a vent down below there. So, you know, the uh, void out plane that's quite close to me, to my last checkpoint, wouldn't be a problem. Always moving upwards. Oh, this is annoying. Right. Okay, so you see where these are sparking? Don't stand there because not only will electric go. Wow. Because not only will electric shock, but you'll also be pushed backwards like you got scared by Vanessa, for example. And when that happens, you actually can't stop it from happening. You do need to void out and fall. Right, so there's a hook there. Couldn't see that. Oh, and this candy is right on the electricity. So again, having the magnet badge, very useful. It probably might have actually been better to trigger this cut this checkpoint first. I was about to say cutscene there. That would have been right. And then swing over there, because if you do fall, you'll just be back over here instead of needing to do that again. Just an idea. There we are. Thank you, Magnet Badge. Alright, let's get up here. Oi, what happened there? At least we're not getting any camera snafus, like changing 180 on a single frame. Oh, got a cluster of mushrooms. Want to hit the middle purple one for a bigger bounce. The others are literally just for small little hops. And I don't think I made that properly. I just barely made it. Nice. Haven't missed anything. Let's go onto these gears. There's a lot of candies here. And considering that there's 88, we're almost at the halfway point. Let's write this down. Get these mushrooms. There's quite a few on here, and I didn't do that right. Right, just done the gears again. Let me bounce on this purple shroom and get on here this time. There we go. Right, so the annoying one here is the one against the tower wall. There we are. That's how you want to do it. So you scale the wall, grab it. You have to scale the wall even with the magnet badge in order to grab it. Otherwise, it won't get magnetized. Bounce with the purple. Get in here. And we climb up. There we go. Gonna jump back from that. And then we'll climb up for the checkpoint. And yeah, this part can be quite annoying. Considering that you're just looking at a background for the most part. And these solid single colored platforms are moving about so you may not be able to see where your drop shadow is very well because it's always moving so you may think you're good but you're not someone decided to emote there Have that one 55 we're getting there and i think i cocked that up i have oh there's the gears again we were just there 
It's good that when you can climb, when you're making your way up, you can actually see where you've been before. I mean, obviously, that is kind of the thing with a tower, but it just shows you, like, oh my lord, that vault. That was terrible. I wasn't expecting to vault on that side of the platform, to be fair. At least I got back here quick. Right, let's get onto this platform before I say anything else. Right. So you saw those gears, like, right down there. That We were just down there. So we haven't actually gone that far up. But we are fast making progress. It's just a little bit of a long level. Um, oh, these platforms don't actually move as much as I thought they did. Interesting. Because it looked like that they moved quite a bit, but they were barely moving at all. Use the magnet badge for that one. Ripped wizard. Okay. I just barely made that. Wow. Need to ride this round to this candy here. Here we go. Land in the middle for safety. On the end of this. Jump for the orange. Get that one. Almost at 60. I think the 60th one's on this checkpoint here. There we go. Right. So we've got more spiders to deal with. Don't have homing attack, so I'll use Cyclone because it's as good. Plus a floatier jump. Actually, it could be very useful here. What we want to do is not land on that platform because we were just there. What we need to do after bouncing all of those balloons is to climb up with a wall jump. Not very clear because it looks like you are going to be dropping back down below there. But now we can hook shot. And I believe we just want to go in this direction onto these gears. Oh, and speaking of these gears. When I was at the top, like at the pretty much semi-final to final checkpoint, I was missing one candy. And I'll show you which one it was. It wasn't this one, because you can grab that with the uh, magnet badge. Each one of these gears has a candy, but I... how did I bonk? As I was saying, each one of these gears has a candy, but this one doesn't seem to have one. That's because it's above, and that's how I missed it. Because when I climbed up, I didn't see it, and then when I came up this way, on my practice file, my practice personal file. Yeah, I just continued and grabbed that one. But then when I was above, can we actually see it from here? Yeah, about there. Um, where that black block is, that's the checkpoint I was at. I looked down and I saw this big green thing over here. That's the dot that I missed. It was the only one that I missed for the end. So don't forget about that one. That one's a little bit sneaky. Nope. Oh, well, I caught that one up, but I'll respawn. It's perfectly fine. There we go. I talk to you. Can't smack you. Let's go! Actually, hang on. Ah, right, good. I was just checking something. Well, this looks a bit precarious. Raised wedge platforms. Thankfully, they go at a decent speed. That's actually pretty decent for platforming. This one's a little bit cheeky. What they want you to do is double jump with the magnet there. Or wall climb off the wall and jump. Also, I see a pumpkin there. Don't think I don't see that. Easy, my friend. Here we are. So the this was the checkpoint that I could... Well, I got to the checkpoint above here. That big block up there. But you could jump all the way back down here without voiding out. But as soon as you try to go below any further down here... Which, as I said, with those gears just down below that we just went past. That's where I could see the, um, that one candy that I missed. Also, Time Stop Hat might actually be quite useful here. I'm going to do this for safety to get back. Because you kind of need to get to the top parts of these platforms in order to make it to the next one. So I'm going to slow down time here for a second, just so I have a little bit more time. But I do not have fast hatter! Damn it! And I can't really, like, cut back to where I screwed up, because that's kind of the challenge here. I might have to take off the magnet badge for fast hatter. Just do that for a bit of extra height there. Yeah, I'm going to slow down time for a second, just so I can get a bit of extra height. There we go! Good. I'm going to wait for my hat to recharge. Alright, grab that. 
yeah, I'm going to slow down time here because all we need to do is jump on this platform and then get back up again quickly. And once we've reached this checkpoint, we can then jump back down to grab this easy. Climb back up again. And yeah, we should have 77 at this stage. And that's how, yeah, right here. This is how I noticed that there was a green dot above that purple cog to the left. And I could not get back down there. And it was so close. It was the only one. So, yeah, be sure that you grabbed everything. Because the last 11 are here on this web. So we are at the, the end of the level now. As I said, this level is a bit long. It overstays its welcome just a little bit. But there's a bunch of stuff that we can do. Or we can just go straight for that big mushroom with the arrows in order to just get to the end. But you can see that there is a bunch of um, candies to grab. So... That's what we're going to be doing right now. Swing over here. Get some awesome height. I would home attack the uh, spider and then land on it. But it couldn't do that. So I had to try and with the cyclone there and get lucky. Climb these mushrooms for this one. There's a bunch of spiders here. I'm not exactly a fan of dealing with them. So I'm going to go over to this edge. So there's some balloons we can bounce off of. Let's follow the trail. No need to lunge, just go for the double jumps. Okay, I'll have to lunge on that one. But there we are, I made it. I mean, I guess I could have done Cyclone. That would have been better. And did I just do a boo-boo? I just saw something green. Nope, I was just mistaken. But there is green over here. Spindly Johnny ain't going to get me today. There we go. We're just bouncing around, having fun on this web. We've only six more ponds to find. AKA candy. Got some swinging to do here. So let's do that. Aha! Oh boy, where are we going? I missed it. That's fine. From here, we can just try again. Get back on the web. And, uh, well, there's one right there, so I'll go grab that right now. Just get over there quicker. There we go. There's one just sitting in the middle here. So I bounce, double jump, and then lunge into the web to catch myself from falling. There's one quite in the distance over there, but there's also one over here. So we'll grab this real quick. There we go. 86. You can see that we're almost done here. This one over here will be 87, and the one to the mushroom to my right there, you can see one, that's 88. Oh shit, I'll have to... I just barely got that. Right, what you're supposed to do is home attack all the spiders, and then try to home attack back to safety. I couldn't do that, I had to just make a big leap with Lilac's headpiece, because I couldn't home attack, and then just void out. So, that changes how you do that but thankfully we don't take any damage from void out so thank you her boy this is actually one of your better levels maybe it's because that the experience i had with her boy's levels have been pretty difficult oh, hey look at that we made it i didn't have the right speed but it's fine wow look at this oh Snatcher tokens? Actually, rift tokens. Six rift tokens at the end. All for the taking. There's no way you can miss these, just like with Cookie Heaven. That is a lot of rift tokens. Not counting mod rift tokens by mod timepieces for playing them out of the Death Wishes. And, because we have all 88 candy, we can try and get this die. Oh, ho, 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 ho. It's really been a year since last spooky day. You know the drill, kiddo. Answer correctly and you'll receive a gift from little old me. What will it be? Trick or treat? The answer is treat. Clever girl. You saw through my trick last year. Go ahead and take the die. You earned it. And happy spooky day, I guess. 
Right, now apparently people say that if you get it wrong, he kills you. But because the checkpoint is at the end, the che last checkpoint you hit is near the top anyway, and you can easily get to the end from there, it basically means that all your rift ponds are gone. Because you can't die. Well, no, you're not supposed to. I haven't died to this guy. I got the answer right in my personal file. But that was on the second playthrough when I missed one of the uh, candies. The Spooky Devil Ghost Die. You collected all the green candy pieces in Spooky Tower Hero. Devil Child? Interesting. Oh, whoa, look at that. I haven't actually equipped it, so that's pretty nifty. So there we go. Six Rift Tokens and a awesome looking die. And three new stamps. And I didn't get a roulette spin on this one, which is in my notes. So that is even more confusing as to why LC's level did that. But as you can see, as I've mentioned before, I'm pretty sure this isn't supposed to happen in the Death Wishes anyway. But at least it brings you to where it's supposed to when you press exit spaceship. But what does it mean by next map? I don't want to click that because I'm in the Death Wish map. That might break something. I think this is a bug. I just had a four. I might actually be out of spins. I might need to stick another mod on. Machine is empty. Ah, that'll be why then. That's why I didn't get a spin. Which means I don't have anything to spend my tokens on. Oh no. Ah, okay. Well, I'm going to go beat Spooky Tower Hero again to get my mod, to mod rift token. Outside of the Death Wishes in the mod menu. And then I'm going to have to go and find something to put in. Oh, wait! That means I have all my payday! I don't believe it. They didn't put in, I will give you my all. That's the tune I've been wanting this entire time, and the pack does not have it. Hello? I'm actually mad. One hour later... Okay, so I got the mod rift token slash mod timepiece from Spooky Tower Hero from here. And I have found some more stuff to put in the rift roulette. This has nothing to do with the summer event. I just like having stuff in the rift roulette to spend our copious amount of tokens. First of all, I got the Sonic Frontiers remixes pack by JDWMGB. The Titan boss themes for Death Wish bosses. That's pretty cool. I also got this Material Girl pack by Argle Bargle. This mod has several full body material skins to the Rift Roulette. There's only four shown in the thumbnail and pictures, but there's even more to unlock. Now, that gold is not the same as the 24 karat kid, and that Shadow Kid is not the same as the Shadow Kid playable model, or the costume that you get through the de normal Death Wishes. You also get the mud, Alien, from ch Chapter 1, Act 3, and you also get like a full metal version. But that's all that we can see. There's more here. So hopefully this will last us. Spooky Tower Hero felt quite long. So let's quickly blast through the rest of level 4. As for me, I've already played these. But some of these are still new to this event. Real quick, Fog and Funky Moave Metro is new for this event. But was featured in the very first ever challenge road ever compiled. And has been featured in more challenge roads ever since. Collecting all the power ponds to get the timepiece will net you all three of the new event stamps. And there's two Rift Tokens to nab in this mod, as at the end of the train at the far back. And hiding in a corner underneath where the timepiece is. We've gained a lot of Rift Tokens during the last two levels of the Summer 2024 live event, and that's not including collecting any of the mod timepieces outside of the Death Wishes for additional mod Rift Tokens. So you would think that the new Casino Rift would have tokens, but there's actually no collectibles here. Brand new for this event, just grab the timepiece and you'll get all three stamps. And I bet you didn't think this was also in a challenge road that I've done before, as this was in the ninth, so I've already played this before. At this point, just assume that I've played a level if I've mentioned it in the script.
And that did not give me a referral spin, although I did add stuff. Because my notes say that that was supposed to give me a referral spin. Unless, for whatever reason, they don't take effect if the game is still running when I installed them. In which case, it's a little bit weird, but okay, fair enough. Speaking of, we shouldn't be afraid to use the Cave Story weapons at this point, as this repeat from the 2023 Live Summer event has had a minor grinding change of only requiring 1,000 experience instead of 5,000. Despite this, we do need to cause the five level ups to our weapons to earn all three stamps. Maybe this was my bad luck, but I have no more progress that I can make in the 2024 live event without grinding this out. Unlike during the 2023 Summer Live event, while I was working on the grind during other Death Wishes with, at the time, newly featured mods. So, I go back into the Mafia Boss's Halloween defense via the mod menu to do the grind. This grind was literally stopping me from reaching level 5 for the 2024 Summer Live event, which is another reason why I personally think this super complicates the whole Live Event Death Wish map system. But now that we have reached level 6, we will be tackling this map next time. See you guys then.